you come here. Ready? Try and climb. Done. Ready? One. Good boy. Now then, here we are, me and the mutt, in the beautiful Yorkshire Dales. Just perched here behind a little wall, taking a little bit of shelter from the breeze. And we are heading to the summit of Buckton Pike at 702 metres. And what a walk up, that was just so tranquil. Lovely meandering stream that just comes up through this little valley. And obviously there's loads of little waterfalls with that. But don't be led into a false sense of security with that lovely winter wonderland that we've just experienced because it has given some gnarly weather. 47 mile an hour is predicted down in the valley bottoms, so up there it could be anything. But that is the reason we are here. I have got a new tent to test and if a company is going to give me a tent that is classed as four season, just know that I am going to test it in fact not just test it i'm going to thrash it just to make sure that if you guys are going to make a decision on buying something like that it's going to be one that has some backing so i am excited to get this tent out because it is a beautiful tent i've done a review on it already so if you've not seen just check that review out but this tent is going to definitely have something to deal with tonight anyway 
We best get up there because Blue's just falling asleep, chilling out. You're right, dog. <laughs> Come on then, let's go. never gonna believe this but I'm gonna have to call it a day I'm, I'm gonna have to quit I am gonna have to quit we are gonna have to get off this mountain and the reason is after wrestling this tent to get it into a nice strong position I've ripped the zip off what a complete nightmare it's not something as well that you can actually get back on quite easily. It's quite a struggle. And obviously by doing so, it needs some calm conditions so you're not having it ripped out of your hands every two minutes. So without being able to shut the door, let's just show you. That door will be wide open all night. And that is not safe not a place that I want to be spending the night with the lovely Blue who is just sat down here chilling out. Oh, nightmare, complete nightmare. So after doing all that, getting to the position where I feel comfortable, we are gonna have to ditch. We are gonna have to ditch. So I'm not gonna mess about, I am gonna 
<laughs> drop the tent, pack it away, get my head torch on because we're going to lose the light fairly quickly and I'm going to take a safer path down. That's it, we'll see you in a minute. dog what a day oh well the safest thing to do by far is to get ourselves back off this mountain to the safety of the car <laughs> and to find some warmth it is honestly just unbelievable up here you can hear the wind whistling through that wall hey <laughs> And it's just a nice little bit of respite just to chill out for a minute before we get up and make our way down anyway it's been fun so far ready dog are you ready come on let's do it oh.
day. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh. What a day. In fact, let's perch behind this wall where you can hear me. Oh dear me. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. It's one thing being broken by the weather. You know, that's a good a good way out. But having my tent fail, I mean really it was me failing. I was struggling to get the tent up in the first place. These gloves got all iced up all the way through the palm, so I really struggled to push the poles in. And after fighting that for a while, I got it up, I was quite happy with it. And that zip, I was just rushing and I just forced it just too much. Pulled it off its rail and hindsight kicks you in the head full on. Kicks you in the head, then kicks you in the nuts. Just to say you have to be gentle in all conditions because a little thing like that and it fails that's it we are heading back down which is fine in this scenario but in other scenarios we might have had to wrap ourselves up in that tent behind the wall and just hunker down for the night yeah even if the tent was still intact and the weather beat us we could have gone back down into that lovely little valley and just sat by that tranquil scream tra <laughs> Tranquil, tranquil stream I can't even talk now and just listen to that trickling water all night that would have been nice anyway let's continue down it's nice behind this wall to be fair oh, lift you up a bit we're back into the wind brilliant just brilliant. That is exactly what I need. Well, a much deserved pint after that ordeal. Honestly, that was unbelievable. 
but it is a pleasure to get back to somewhere nice and safe and the dog's happy sat by the fire drying off and I'm gonna order some really nice food and the food does look fantastic in here so definitely worth popping in and coming for a decent meal and a pint What a day, eh? What a day. <laughs> Always take your hat off at the table. Rules of the house at my mum's. <laughs> Come on then, Blue. Ah, well that was nice. And then, <laughs> look what we are blessed with out here. Some nice thick settling snow, which is going to be fun driving home in. And this is where having a van is not going to be suffice. So currently, still having my discovery, is definitely a machine that can get me home. And that is the main thing. Well then, Blue, get him. Well, there were some pretty treacherous driving conditions there. Luckily, we've arrived safely home. But there was a couple of iffy moments where the car's sort of sliding in the direction you don't want it to slide. So you have to put that foot on that accelerator and then just allow the four-wheel drive to pull you out straight again. So definitely worth having a four-wheel drive when it comes to winter. I am going to miss this thing. I really am. Honestly, I've had a four-wheel drive for so many years now and it has just been fun. Definitely fun. So to go to a crappy front-wheel drive, it's just not going to be the same. Anyway, it swings and roundabouts with it because at least having a camper is going to get me to some other places. 
just not as far not as far off the beaten track as what I could in this. What a day though. It has honestly been just eventful from second one all the way through. Just getting out into the outdoors and just enjoying that beautiful tranquil stream walking up all those waterfalls and then getting up onto the top of a mountain where pitching this tent was a complete nightmare. It really was tricky to get up. And it's not so much the tent design for that. The thing that I really struggled with was the fact that I had gloves on and the palm of the gloves, both sides were iced over. So when I'm trying to shove the poles in, I just had no purchase to sort of be able to put the poles in. So I got them in to a certain extent and then I'd have one that would slip out and I'd be trying to put it back in. And obviously it's got that pressure that's trying to push back down on, onto you as well, being a, sort of a dome tent but we got it up i was happy with it and i think that tent would have stayed there happily all night it really was dug in for the evening and then muppet here in all that excitement just grabs hold of that zip tries to shut the door and i just put too much pressure on it i really did i was trying to force it shut rather than just being gentle but hindsight is definitely something that allows you to take the negatives and twist them into a positive so for next time i'm more experienced i've learned from it and i will not be doing that again i will definitely be looking after my zips buckton pike i will definitely be back i will make sure that i conquer you i will not be beaten and the keb dome 2 tent that will be out on several occasions taking some more horrible menacing weather without doubt and you know exactly what i'm like when it comes to making videos i like to test my kit properly and yes i did test it and yes it did fail i am going to put my hands up for that failure and it hopefully won't happen again but you guys can learn from what my experience with that for definite so there we go ah oh dear well it's been a pleasure and honestly I just love getting out it really does make me happy so you know regardless of a failure get yourselves outside and just get those experiences made make those memories anyway if you've enjoyed the video give it a big fat thumbs up and if you want to contribute to the channel at all and keep me getting out there and making these horrendous videos then you can contribute by buying me a coffee in the buy me a coffee link which is in the description either there or there I'm not exactly sure. Or you can join the community, which I have set up with the Patreon. So, <laughs> what a day, eh? From me and the beautiful Blue, who's probably fast asleep in the back. We'll see you another time. Take care.